Over the years, we've told you about the Apache Hadoop platform and about Spark and about Impala and about Search and about Kudu and about all of the innovation, HBase and more, that's enabling people to attack, analyze, process, understand data at a scale that was never before possible. You're going to walk out of here after the keynotes. You're going to go to a bunch of great talks about companies telling you in production what they're doing with data. What do they know about the world that they didn't know before? How do they understand their customers? How do they build their products? How are they managing risk in their businesses in ways that weren't possible before that data was available? We've democratized access to that data. But a real democracy isn't just about business. A real democracy takes into account social good. It looks for ways to use data to make the planet a better place. And I'm not channeling Silicon Valley when I say we want to make the world a better place. I'm reciting a message that you've heard me talk about from the very beginning at Strata Hadoop World. I want to hit three examples today of ways that we're working to make the world better with data. Last week, Yahoo announced that half a billion user accounts had been compromised. Passwords, security questions, usernames, very sensitive personal data leaked to we don't know who, a state actor. Worse, it happened two years ago. You may be concerned about Hillary Clinton's mail server, but remember, you don't know who has been reading your Yahoo email for two years. You may be a government official, you may not. You may have been discussing work stuff on there, you may not. That information, surprise, surprise, was leaked. You can be distressed about the Yahoo leak. But if you're paying attention, you can't really be surprised. As an open source community, we've got both an opportunity and an obligation to deal with this problem. Apache Hadoop actually gives us a great place to land enormous volumes of data to analyze, to detect threats and attempted break-ins and bad behavior on our networks, even insider threats. So we can store all that data. And Apache Spark is a great way to apply advanced techniques like machine learning to recognize patterns of normal and abnormal behavior. But we can only do that if we understand the data. We're announcing this week the incubation of a new Apache project. We've been talking for a couple years about the Open Network Intelligence Project, ONI. It has now been dedicated, uh, it has now been rather donated to, to Apache as the Apache Spot Project. The idea here is let's create a common data model for NetFlow, for events, for users, for applications. Let's give one common data model that any application developer can take advantage of to bring new analytic capabilities to bear on cybersecurity problems. One big repository where lots of apps can share the data and collaborate and look for threats is an important tool in addressing the kinds of breaches we've seen at Yahoo and elsewhere. I'm inviting all of you today, get involved. This is a big deal. This is national and economic danger around the world and an opportunity for us as an open source community to come together. We've got a great community already formed, fantastic companies like Intel, like Jask, like Webroot, collaborating on this data model. There's plenty of room for others, though, with your unique expertise to join the party. The other two social good announcements I want to make are a little bit more retrospective, work we've been doing for a while, but we're very, very proud of. In February of this year, I was privileged to visit the White House. We announced then our, position, our participation in President Obama's Precision Medicine Initiative. Our commitment at the time was to donate software, training, services, collaboration with researchers who wanted to use big data technology to make healthcare better, not to treat the average patient, but to understand you, your specific genome, the disease from which you are suffering, your medical history, and to design a treatment for you that was aimed not at our, the, the average patient, but specifically at you. New therapeutic approaches to drive better outcomes at lower cost. Today, I am thrilled to announce 
the five inaugural grantees of the Cloudera software and training under Cloudera's PMI initiative. Baylor College of Medicine, Irel and Manella Graduate School, Georgia Tech Research Institute, Emory University School of Medicine, and the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine have all received access to the Cloudera software and are applying it to this absolutely critical problem. We're thrilled with this progress. Visit our website if you're interested in applying for participation. Finally, I want to tell you about uh, an initiative that's very close to my heart. We work with an outstanding organization, THORN. Visit wearethorn.org to learn more about what they do. They intervene in child sexual trafficking, looking at social media posts for evidence that kids are being forced to post uh, advertisements for sexual services. And now, looking at the dark web for imagery video that adults have captured of kids being abused in absolutely unspeakable ways. Using analytic tools to figure out where that's happening, to direct law enforcement to intervene to rescue those kids. We're providing software training and services to Thorn to support this excellent work. We are merely a database company. As a community, we are merely a group of technologists, but we've got an opportunity to bring data to problems of this sort. Let's make the banks better. Let's show better advertisements. Let's help uh, insurance companies price their policies better. But let's also attack some of these critical problems facing the planet.